Alrighty. Who are you? Huh, there goes another person delivering a pizza. I wonder how many poor chaps are sitting around at home even though the anniversary festival is in full swing. Yeah. Jonah is very addicted to his pizza. Was this gate always open? Or is this like freshly open? Ah, cat. This has always been open. Wait a second. Okay, let's just talk to the cat. Free me! Free me! Okay. Let's go to West Street and talk to the stalls here. Hi. Haunts. Oh, yeah. The smiles from all the tourists and locals are fantastic. I'm itching to develop this photo quartz already. Hi. Talk. Welcome. Come and buy my treats to your heart's content. I was hoping you would have something to share, but you do not. Free samples, blah, blah, blah. That's just to the SSS. Okay, so we talked to the burgers last. Hi. Excuse me, but mind if I ask you a few questions? We're conducting an investigation on the recent thefts, you see. Oh, that someone from the Business Owners Association came by earlier to tell me to keep an eye out for anyone shady. They already hit one of the square's stalls. So, any ideas? See the thief running around or anything like that? I'm sorry, can't say I have. I've been getting a lot of customers, so I can't spare the energy to look at what's happening at other stands. Ah, I understand. Now that you mention it, you are right in front of Times and near the back alley. Yep. And you're also forgetting that the administrative district is right down there. Many, most of our customers today came into the city to watch the parade. You certainly seem busy. Not burgers. Excuse me, but mind if I ask you a few questions? We're conducting an investigation on the recent thefts you see. You're talking about the stalls that have been robbed all across the city? Well, I don't think our stall has anything to worry about. I mean, I'm right in the middle of Central Square. With this many people walking around, I'm practically untouchable. Dude, that stall, like, less than 10 yards away from you got robbed. What makes you so special? I do not believe many of the tourists are aware of the cases or keeping an eye out. On the contrary, the likelihood of our thief using the crowd to avoid detection is quite high. Oh, please. Everything is fine. I can take care of myself just fine. She's hopeless. Boasting about how untouchable you are is practically inviting misfortune. Hi. Occasionally, I can see the balloons I hand out fly far out into the horizon. They drift further and further until I can't see them anymore. Perhaps they even reach Ideos eventually. It's somewhat of a bittersweet sight, isn't it? Okay. Hi. You should be the last one I need to talk to, I believe. Nardole's Burgers. This is one of the food stalls that was robbed. Excuse me. Do you have a minute? We're conducting an investigation on recent thefts. Are you those police officers the guy from the Business Owners Association told me about? <sighs> I'm sure you know, but my stall was hit just this morning. Our condolences. Please try to recall what occurred at the time of the incident. Oh, well, the problem with that is that I don't exactly know when I was robbed. What do you mean by that? Well, it might have been when I was busy chatting away with this talkative young man. I think he was an eager tourist who came to enjoy the festival. Anyway, 
He was quite the chatterbox. When I finally got him his order, I swear I heard someone rustling from behind me. I quickly looked behind me, but there was no one there. Then after a while, I opened up my register and lo and behold, all my Mira was gone. I see. So it's possible that your Mira was stolen in that moment. That's the only thing I can think of. I have no idea otherwise. That definitely sounds odd. Should we wrap up our questioning here? We should be good. Let's head on back and shuffle through all our info. Okay. Hold on, I need a drink. Okay. Oh, you're back already. Were you able to find anything? Yeah, we actually managed to gather a lot of information. Why don't we sort through it now? Good idea. Take it away, Lloyd. So we started a conversation with this man and then we turned our backs on him? What is happening? All right, let's try to piece it together. Let's start by going over everything we've learned thus far. Based on what we heard from the stall's owners, the thief was able to steal from them by brandishing a deadly weapon. Striking while they were distracted. Pretty sure they all say they were hit while they were in the middle of dealing with customers. Committing the crime while the owners were busy serving customers to avoid detection. A crafty method, I must say. Yeah. It doesn't matter how cautious you are if you're too busy to notice. Right, I heard the same. Does their cowardice know no bounds? Let's not forget our thieving friend managed to hit up four of them in a row. I bet they're off gloating to all their buddies about their big heist right about now. Perhaps, but don't crimes like these normally follow a pattern? Judging from what I've heard, I think I might just have an idea of what it is. Now that we've pieced together all the information, it's clear that the criminal's motive was... For their enjoyment? I wouldn't say harassment. It's either financial problems or for their enjoyment. I mean, they stole money, so financial problems. Could they have been motivated by financial problems? I'm not getting that impression. Oh, nope, I was wrong. I'm with you. Hitting up a bunch of stalls in a short period of time makes me think they were doing it to screw with all the stall owners. There are plenty of bigger fish to fry if they needed some serious cash. Yeah, you're right. Our criminal probably gets their thrills from stealing. Yeah, it was enjoyment. Dang it. Whatever. It's utterly ridiculous that someone would commit so many thefts for a reason like that. What kind of criminal is responsible for this tomfoolery? Hmm. I think I have an idea of what the criminal might be like. The criminal is... A youthful duo. Because it's two, it's... Yeah, it's a youthful duo. I'm fairly certain it's a pair of younger thieves. How do you figure? There weren't any witnesses. Think about it for a second. Each stall was robbed in the middle of serving a customer. Didn't the descriptions of the customer they served sound eerily similar to one another? From the stalls in the administrative and harbor districts, both described him as a carefree sort of flirt. Meanwhile, the stalls in Central Square and the entertainment district described him as a very chatty, energetic kind of guy. Those were the only profiles recounted by the stall owners at the moment of the theft. It is far too unlikely to be a coincidence. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking our criminals are a pair. I think I get what you're saying. 
While one of them garnered the attention of the stall owner, the other went and stole the mirror. Yeah, that makes sense. If you assume that they were switching off their roles. We absolutely cannot let this continue any further. Please find them before they strike again. Exactly what he said. But how are you going to find them? The city is packed with people right now. It's hopeless, isn't it? The best we can do is alert the shopkeepers and stay on guard. I disagree. I think we have enough information on how they operate to devise a countermeasure to stop them from stealing again. Hey guys, where do you think the duo is going to strike next? I think it's safe to exclude any stalls that have already been targeted. Sooner or later, they're going to get caught with their hands in the cookie jar. That narrows it down to the stalls that have yet to be burglarized. The question is which? It's a good thing that we interviewed some of the shopkeepers that were unscathed too. I'm pretty certain the one that is most likely targeted is... Um, I don't, I don't think it's, um, this one because this one is right in front of the, the CPD or the headquarters or whatever. Um, this girl said she was a veteran. Um, this guy's kind of out in the open and he works alone. Also, this one had two people working it, so I don't think it's going to be hit. The sweet stall. She was in a very busy area. It's either this or the noodles. I don't know. I'm going to say this one. What about the sweet stall in Central Square? Yeah, that's the one I find most likely, too. The administrative district will be filled with officers because of today's parade. The entertainment and harbor districts are relatively open areas compared to Central Square. Considering they need to secure an easily accessible escape route, Central Square is the most logical location. Why would they need an escape route? The shopkeepers that were already stolen from are going to be more aware of their surroundings. Even if we've got an experienced thieves on our hands, they're far more likely to get caught at this point. And they'll need to make a quick getaway if they do. You know, now that you mention it, the burger stall was also located at the intersection between a few of the districts. The sweet stall in Central Square is within proximity of the back alley and the administrative district. That area decidedly has the highest number of escape routes available, so the thieves are likely to target that stall next. Good thinking, Tio Tot. Since it's come down to this, let's stake it all on the thieves targeting them next. The SSS traveled to the designated district to conduct their stakeout. Hopefully, even though ow, I answered the one question wrong, I'll still get credit for answering the other questions correct. I don't know if this is like an all or nothing thing. Don't really know how DP works, but I guess we'll find out. Looks like he's a bust. Wow, could they walk any slower? customer is pretty young. Oh, here we go. Just looks like your run-of-the-mill tourist. Hold your horses, Lloyd. We got another bite. The young man subtly reached his hand into the food stall's register. That's our cue. Go, go, go. Police freeze. Dang it. Quick, let's scram. Oh. Huh? Mademoiselle, Tio Tot, you are up. You do know this is a dead end, right? Game, set, match. Crap. Hmm. 
You're all just a bunch of spineless cops. The heck do you think you can do to us? Put you in jail for the rest of your lives. I don't know. You think you can just walk all over us, the Black Emperors? Did you just make that name up just now? I'm relieved that we were able to retrieve the Mira, but I must say these hooligans aren't quite as rough around the edges as I was expecting. You said it, pal. One punch from the downtown delinquents and they'd be crying like a bunch of pansies. Wow, that quieted them down. Do you think it's possible they really were threatened by them? Uh, Who would ever get scared by guys like that? Making fun of us or something? We'd have no trouble taking them on. Well, Wald is like right up the pathway from us. Do you want to play now? I can bring them over. We have our answer. I see now. They were made fools of, so they resorted to petty crimes as a means of venting their frustration. So that's what it was. They have disrupted the festival and for what? Some selfish, self-pitying reason? You hooligans made a big mistake. You'd better be ready to answer for your crimes in full. Ah, what's with this old geezer? That glare is giving me chills. Oh, there you are. You're the special support section, right? Sorry we're late. We're here to take away the thieves. Thanks. Sorry for calling you out here during such a busy period. Not a problem. It's our job, after all. Are these two the guys? Yeah. If you would escort them to HQ, please. Right. You can count on us. Hey, move it along. Don't push me. <sighs> Looks like it's case closed. They didn't look like they were from Crossbell, so I figured they won't be in jail for more than three days. Crossbell's pretty soft on the foreigners, huh? Yeah, well, the joke is on them. They'll be sitting in a jail cell staring at the stone wall while the rest of us are here enjoying the festival. Not to mention, I had a bit of fun striking fear into their hearts. I like this guy. I must say, your charade was spectacular. They were completely fooled. It comes with the experience of being a veteran trader. I'm used to having to put on airs. It's definitely a side of you I've never seen before. I think I put on quite the performance, if I do say so myself. Thank you for solving the issue, everyone. Indeed, we're truly in your debt. Please allow for the Business Owners Association to present to you its utmost gratitude. Oh no, that won't be necessary. We're just glad to have resolved the case before any more damage was dealt. You know where to find us if you ever run into any other problems. We'd be happy to help. A fine plan indeed. It's comforting to know I'm in such good hands. Don't be afraid to reach out to us anytime. Okay, I want to see if I actually got any bonus from that or no, because there was one question I answered wrong. I should have just followed my gut. I feel like my gut reaction is usually correct in this game, but then I'm like, ah, no, let me think about it. And then, then I go wrong. Oh, I got some bonus DP because I was right on everything else, but I probably could have gotten more if I'd answered that one question correctly. But you know what? Something is better than nothing. Um, not gonna lie, I super do not know where the Ash Tree Inn is, which is the last location to go to. Also, where is Wazemi? We saw Wald, but where... Where is Wazemi? Do you have a recipe for me? No. Jerk. Do either of you have a recipe for me? This place is really big. 
Oh, there's a dude here. Hi. Chief Roberts. The crossbow parade is today. Now then, where should I watch it from? My bubble terminal was made for times like these, and beep bop beep. My boss seems to be enjoying himself. Okay. Didn't expect to run into that guy here. Um, where to go? Where do we think Wazy would possibly be? I don't know if I've been in the store here today. Hi. Elsa and Momo went to go check out the festivities. I sent them off to tour around the city to their heart's content, given this is a once in a year event. Even if I can't, I want my family to be able to go and enjoy it. Good for you. Okay, we own those. You don't have anything else I care about. Okay. Where would Wazy have gone? Did he go to the casino? No, that's that's not uh, where I meant to go. Oh, we should also check and see if we can go into Archon CL. Just to see if... Uh, Hilika, or whatever her name is, is in there. Wait a second. Talk to me. Shouldn't you be going back home, miss? I'm a little busy at the moment. I don't wanna. Come on, today's the festival. Don't be such a spoil sport. Looks like old Drake's having a hard time keeping up. That's a rare sight. Okay. He could also be in that bar in the back alley. We could check that too, I guess. Just because I think it's one of the few places I've not walked into. Welcome everybody, thank you for coming. However, I regret to inform you that Elia and Rixie are currently occupied. We should be the ones apologizing. Everybody's busy with preparations, right? Well, it's not like we needed them for anything urgent. We can drop by another time. I agree, we should leave. Our apologies for the disturbance. Um, hold on, go back to West Street. Let's see if we can talk to Elia's new pet. She has to be locked. Nope, sure can't. Okay. Then I guess we try the back alley, and if we don't find Wazy there, we move along. Dang it. Is there anyone in here with Imelda? No. And there's no one in here either. Patron. 70 years since Crossbell State was founded, huh? Sounds like this celebration calls for some wine and lots of it. The city's going to be particularly lively today. I hope people don't get so swept up in the moment that they stumble their way into Ravage and Co. Shiny blue. This sounds useful. Okay. Who the heck knows where Wazy is? There's apparently a chest somewhere there. I do not know how to get any of the chests on this street. We live in mystery. Okay, let's go ahead and... I guess let's start with mines. Maybe they have ash tree in, I don't know. It does sound more armorica-y 